Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on a telegram channel called Forbidden Science. Please check the description to know more about the channel. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The Cambro Figurines, Mexico The collection of figurines found during excavations, which began to be collected in 1944 by archaeologist Wildemar Jolsard, to date, there are 37,000 pieces. Of these, about 2,500 figurines depict dinosaurs. So-called experts tell us that dinosaurs walked on our world for tens of millions of years before the first humans. There are two possibilities. Either they are fakes, or dinosaurs and humans lived at the same time, and it was not so long ago. If it's fake, why is it fake? What do you think? Historical math and calculations for the Temple of Angkor Wat. Built sometime in the 12th century, the area is 162 hectares, three times the size of the Vatican. Of the tools for construction and processing, a pick, shovel, cart and the hands of grateful workers. By the most conservative calculations, the workers would have had to mine work get deliver stack a ton of stone in a minute. The historian, is not a builder, and not a mathematician, he is not engaged in boring calculation of volumes. They could have attributed at least some technology and equipment to the Khmers, so as not to get out of the slender history. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. In 1996, researchers discovered an interesting phenomenon in China. Pipes were coming out of the Begunction Mountain. It is clear that man in ancient times could not do this, too sophisticated technology would have to be used. But who had something to do with it? The official position of scientists is that the trees have eventually fallen under sediment, it often happens in the mountains, there flowed water, filled with elements of iron. It covered the trees, forming something like a shell. The trunks and branches of the trees gradually turned to coal, but the iron shell remained. Can you imagine the trees themselves arranged in even rows, clearly one above the other, three big trees and one smaller one in a row? Although in nature there is a process of calcification, when the biological tissue accumulates metals or turns into a mineral, but nature is not a loader, it will not stack logs according to a ruler. The Buried Hermitage in St. Petersburg Here is the Hermitage. Note, the first floor is much lower than the second, and looks down to earth. And the windows, the very windows that were supposed to be above the ground, are sunk into it almost completely. Many halls in the Winter Palace are below ground level. Who would have made submerged rooms in a swampy area? Moreover, a semi-basement is knowingly more expensive than the first floor. It is always cheaper to just make a foundation and put the first floor on it, than to arrange a second grade room and waterproof it. The third picture is an example of what a palace should look like. Could it be possible, 
that Alaska has the world's oldest man-made pyramids. And, if true, is the recent snow and ice melting going to reveal even more ancient structures in the future? Amazingly, a small team of explorers has just announced that they have indeed found at least two ancient pyramids. Currently, only the upper portions of the pyramids are exposed, but the general shape is obvious. The team was able to find the outer rock edges of one pyramid, and the stones were obviously stacked one on top of the other, comparable to Egypt pyramids. The team actually made the discovery by accident while on a hiking expedition. What the geologists said they found under Alaska was a pyramid bigger than the one in Egypt. During the excavations of Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro, skeletons were found in the streets of the cities. People were simply lying unburied in the streets of the city. What could cause such a situation? There were no visible signs of violent death. These skeletons are among the most radioactive ever found, with radioactive levels 50 times higher than normal. Another curious sign of the ancient nuclear war in India is the giant crater near Bombay, a crater 2,154 meters in diameter, located 400 kilometers northeast of Bombay. No traces of so-called meteorites were found nearby, although this crater in basalt originated from the impact. The pressure from the impact was over 600,000 atmospheres and was accompanied by heat, causing glass balls to form in the basalt. What was it? A nuclear explosion or an unexplained natural cataclysm? If you need a loop and an expert to determine where on the rock is a natural chip and where are the traces of primitive tools, the traces of rock processing in Atlantatambo put the official science in an awkward position. Instead of traces of chipping with some chisel, we see almost polished surface at the place of rock separation. Suppose the Incas separated the rock and then polished the quarry walls. Absolutely useless work. There is a possibility that the stones were carved with high-tech tools, but this version is no longer satisfactory to scientists. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.